In this lesson, we'll talk about how to use the quotient's two powers rule. We looked earlier at the products to powers rule, and we found out that if you have a product in parentheses, each factor in the product gets raised to the outside exponent. Well, a quotient is simply a fraction. So the quotients to powers rule works the same way. If you have an outside exponent, each factor inside the parentheses gets raised to that power. Let's look at some examples together. Here I have x over 4 raised to the second power. So I'll have to apply the second power to the top and the second power to the denominator. So x to the second is x squared and 4 to the second is 16. For our next example, we have x squared over 5 all raised to the third power. That means we'll have to raise x squared to the third power and 5 to the third power. Now x squared to the third power is going to be x to the sixth. Remember, this is a power rule application, so 2 times 3 is 6. And in the denominator, 5 to the third power is 5 times 5 times 5, so 25 times 5, which is 125. On our last example, we have 2a to the third over b to the fourth, all raised to the fifth power. That means we have to do the fifth power to everything in the parentheses. So 2 to the fifth, a to the third to the fifth, b to the fourth to the fifth. Now 2 to the fifth, if you work it out, 2 times 2 is 4, times a third 2 makes 8, times a fourth 2 makes 16, times a fifth 2 makes 32. A to the third to the fifth will make A to the fifteenth because we multiply the exponents, it's power to power. And B to the fourth to the fifth is B to the twentieth. Now I'm going to give you three to work by yourself. I recommend that you pause the video and try to do them on your own before you look at the answers. So the first one's very simple. We have to square the x and square the 5. So that one's x to the second divided by 25. The next one is a little more complicated. We have x to the fourth raised to the third power and 2 raised to the third power. x to the fourth to the third will become x to the twelfth and 2 to the third will become 8. On 2a to the tenth over b to the third, all raised to the fourth, we have to do the fourth power to everything in the parentheses. So 2 to the fourth, a to the tenth to the fourth, and b to the third to the fourth. Now 2 to the fourth will be 16, a to the tenth to the fourth will be a to the fortieth, and b to the third to the fourth will be b to the twelfth. 